Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Rajkumar Hirani from India and in this problem alpha, beta and gamma are roots of equation x cubed plus 2x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 and if the value of this equation, this is a long equation in terms of roots of this equation is lambda then we have to find the value of modulus of lambda. So how to solve it? See, if we take this part that is the first term of this equation then this can be written as 1 divided by gamma cube minus 1 divided by alpha cube minus 1 divided by beta cube. Let me convert this into square brackets and then this can be written as 1 divided by gamma cube plus 1 divided by alpha cube minus 1 divided by beta cube. So now you can use the formula of a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So this can be written as 1 divided by gamma to the power 6 minus 1 divided by alpha cube minus 1 divided by beta cube whole square. Or you can also write it as 1 divided by gamma to the power 6 minus 1 divided by alpha to the power 6 minus 1 divided by beta to the power 6 plus 2 divided by alpha cube beta cube right so let me write this in place of this term so the first term of this equation can be written as 1 divided by gamma to the power 6 minus 1 divided by alpha to the power 6 minus 1 divided by beta to the power 6 plus 2 divided by alpha cube beta cube and similarly this can be written as plus here in both these brackets we have 1 divided by alpha cube positive so 1 divided by alpha to the power 6 minus 1 divided by beta to the power 6 minus 1 divided by gamma to the power 6 plus 2 divided by beta cube gamma cube plus here we have 1 divided by beta cube positive in these two brackets so it will be 1 divided by beta to the power 6 minus 1 divided by alpha to the power 6 minus 1 divided by gamma to the power 6 plus 2 divided by alpha cube gamma cube so this 1 divided by gamma to the power 6 will cancel this 1 divided by gamma to the power 6 this 1 divided by alpha to the power 6 will cancel this and this 1 divided by beta to the power 6 will cancel this so from here we will get 2 multiplied by 1 divided by alpha cube beta cube plus 1 divided by beta cube gamma cube plus 1 divided by gamma cube alpha cube minus 1 divided by alpha to the power 6 plus 1 divided by beta to the power 6 plus 1 divided by gamma to the power 6. So we have to find the value of this expression. And now let us come back to this equation. This is the equation whose roots are alpha, beta and gamma. So if its roots are alpha, beta and gamma that means x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta multiplied by x minus gamma will give you this equation and then when you compare the coefficients of this equation and the equation which you get by multiplying these three terms you will get alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus 2 and you will get alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equal to 3 and alpha beta gamma equal to minus 1. But in this equation we have inverses of alpha beta and gamma. So if I divide first equation by the third equation I'll get 1 divided by beta gamma plus 1 divided by gamma alpha plus 1 divided by alpha beta is equal to minus 2 divided by minus 1 that is equal to 2 and if I divide this equation second equation by the third equation I'll get 1 divided by alpha plus 1 divided by beta plus 1 divided by gamma is equal to minus 3 and by inversing this equation I'll get 1 divided by alpha beta gamma is equal to minus 1. So I'm going to use all these three equations and we have to remember that we have to find the value of this. So let me erase everything and note it down over here. So all these relations we have found and we have to find the value of this. 
So we have a formula a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to a plus b plus c multiplied by a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. Or you can say a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3abc plus this much. And this a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca can be written as a plus b plus c whole square minus 3 times ab plus bc plus ca. So if I assume a is equal to 1 by alpha and b is equal to 1 by beta and c is equal to 1 divided by gamma. 1 divided by alpha cube plus 1 divided by beta cube plus 1 divided by gamma cube can be written as 3 divided by alpha beta gamma that is 3 multiplied by minus 1 so minus 3 plus 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta plus 1 by gamma that is again is equal to minus 3 multiplied by and this will be equal to 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta plus 1 by gamma whole square that is square of minus 3 which is 9 minus 3 times 1 by alpha beta plus 1 by beta gamma plus 1 by gamma alpha so that is 6. This will be equal to minus 3 plus this is 3 multiplied by minus 3 will give you minus 9 so this is equal to minus 12. So let me note it down over here and in this equation if I substitute a is equal to alpha beta, b is equal to beta gamma and c is equal to gamma alpha then 1 divided by alpha cube beta cube plus 1 divided by beta cube gamma cube plus 1 divided by gamma cube alpha cube will be equal to 3 divided by alpha square beta square gamma square plus 1 divided by alpha beta plus 1 divided by beta gamma plus 1 divided by gamma alpha multiplied by let me put a square bracket over here then we'll have 1 divided by alpha beta plus 1 divided by beta gamma plus 1 divided by gamma alpha whole square minus 3 divided by alpha beta gamma multiplied by 1 divided by alpha plus 1 divided by beta plus 1 divided by gamma right and now if I substitute the values of all these expressions I can find the value of this. So 3 divided by alpha square beta square gamma square will be 3 divided by the square of minus 1 that is 3 then we have this plus and the value of this is 2 so this will be 2 multiplied by the square of 2 that is 4 minus 3 divided by alpha beta gamma so this will be minus 3 divided by minus 1 that is plus 3 multiplied by this and value of this is minus 3. So this will be equal to 3 minus 3 multiplied by 3 will give you minus 9 minus 9 plus 4 will give you minus 5 and minus 5 multiplied by 2 will give you minus 10. So this will be equal to minus 7. So we have got the value of this is equal to minus 7 and now let us try and find the value of this expression right so this 1 by alpha to the power 6 plus 1 by beta to the power 6 plus 1 by gamma to the power 6 can be written in terms of square of this so this finally can be written as 2 multiplied by 1 divided by alpha cube beta cube plus 1 divided by beta cube gamma cube plus 1 divided by gamma cube alpha cube minus this can be written as square of 1 divided by alpha cube plus 1 divided by beta cube plus 1 divided by gamma cube whole square minus 2 times 1 divided by alpha cube beta cube plus 1 divided by beta cube gamma cube plus 1 divided by gamma cube alpha cube or this can be written as 4 times 1 divided by alpha cube beta cube plus 1 divided by beta cube gamma cube plus 1 divided by gamma cube alpha cube minus square of 1 by alpha cube plus 1 by beta cube 
plus 1 by gamma q right and now we can substitute the values so this will be equal to 4 times minus 7 minus square of this minus 12 so square of minus 12 so this will be equal to minus 28 minus 144 so this will be equal to minus 172 so this is the value of lambda so the value of modulus of lambda will be equal to 172 right and if you also have an interesting problem which you want to share with us you can send your problems to the number shown on the screen and for many many more interesting videos and problems keep watching MathSmart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then